Welcome back. A country cannot afford itself from global trade. And that's what Vice President of Indonesia said, Yusuf Kala, at the Trade Expo Indonesia 2019. To meet domestic needs, the country sometimes need to import. And on the other hand, exports are also needed to market domestic products. And therefore, international trade become a foundation for a country. And Trade Expo 2019 is held on, on October 16th to 20th. 2019 as a showcase to show Indonesia trade performance. To get no more about the details, we had opportunity to cover it for you directly from the venue at Ice BSD Tangerang. Indonesia's export growth is really fluctuating, there are ups and downs, and therefore that is government homework to keep Indonesia's export well maintained. And of course, to maintain and support export of Indonesia, it aims to boost Indonesia export because Indonesia is not competing for the domestic, but of course to competing with other countries in the global arena. And therefore, to keep improving Indonesia's export, government through the Ministry of Trade also make an event that collect the buyers and also investors for making a direct deal with Indonesia's exporter. And the event, so-called Threat Expo Indonesia 2019, and that is held in Ice Bay's Day by October 16th to October 20th, 2019. about how Indonesia trend on export in 2019. Therefore, Central Bureau of Statistics has just released its record about Indonesia's trade balance in September 2019. Central Bureau of Statistics has released Indonesia's trade balance in September 2019 and export recorded at 14.1 billion US dollar or down by 1.29% month to month. In the same time, Indonesia's import in September 2019 up by 0.63% to 14.26 billion US dollar. The increasing import has been contributed by non-oil and gas commodity, while oil and gas import down by 2.36% from the realizations in August 2019. And in short, Indonesia's trade balance at September 2019 experienced deficit of 160.5 million US dollars. And of course, government of Indonesia is keep on moving forward to make Indonesia's export performance better and better. And through a various of ways, like holding this kind of event. And Trade Expo Indonesia 2019 is here to international B2B focused trade show that aims to boost Indonesia's export product and also expanding its market. And this year team is moving forward to serve the world Whereas this aim to promote quality products of Indonesia in the global arena through the international eyes. And speaking of which, if you want to develop a business networks in here, this would be a good place. Why? Because all in here, the attendees are really inspiring business actors. And there are also several officials here, such as ministers, ambassadors, and even vice president was here, Joseph Kala. Trade Expo Indonesia 2019 is occupying 10 halls in Ice Bay, the city Tangerang, and it's almost like 50,000 square meters for Trade Expo. And of course, these 10 halls are in a various product zoning. First hall is named Nusantara Culinary, which consists of Indonesia International Cuisine. You'll discover best Indonesian and international dishes that you don't want to miss. My favorite one? Of course, Balinus chocolate. Second hole, namely local champion products. Local champion products means potential export products from Indonesia. 
third and a third A hall, namely premium and creative industry. It is consisted of premium products and also creative innovative products. As a matter of fact, Indonesia aims to establish itself as a global creative economy player by 2030. Moving on to the fifth and sixth hall. These halls including manufacturing products and services, textile products that consist of fabrics, building materials, rubber products, metal products, automotive car and auto parts lubricants, strategic industry and others. Next, 7th and 8th Hall. The theme for this hall is food and beverages products. It is consisted of ingredients and spices, seafood and seaweed, packaged food and drink, fresh fruits, coffee, tea and cocoa, and anything related to plantations and agriculture. For the 9th Hall, the theme is furniture and home decor. We can find wood and rotten furniture, interior and decor, knockdown house, outdoor and garden furniture, home and office furniture, and many handicraft. Last one is the 10 hall. It's a wedding and catering hall. It is consisted of wedding catering, food franchise, and food court. There are a list of wedding catering funders in Indonesia that provided buffet, a la carte catering service with a list of food menu for weddings. The Ministry of Trade is targeting goods transactions worth 1.72 billion US dollar at the Trade Expo Indonesia. The target is up to 15% compared to the transactions target last year of 1.5 billion US dollar. In addition, the implementations of Trade Expo last year, there were also investment transactions worth 5.5 billion US dollar, service transactions of 1.31 billion US dollar and tourism transactions of 170.5 million US dollar. Thus, the total transactions successfully booked through last year reached 8.49 billion US dollar. Through this event, government is facilitating Indonesian's exporter within 1,250 stands. And it is estimated that it will bring 28,000 visitors and also with 1,110 exhibitors. And you don't have to worry because there's no entry fee, but of course there are like a certain timings for public to come in this event. For example, for 6, uh, 16 October to 20th October, um, within 4 p.m. until uh, 8 p.m., there is open for public, but when it comes to morning, it's 10 a.m., it's open only for business actors. And also, there is a different scenario if you want to go by 19 October to 20th October. It is open for all public and for general to this expo. Although Indonesia export performance is kind of fluctuative, but of course, by arranging this kind of event, Trade Expo Indonesia 2019 is such a good start to make an improvement. Stay tuned on market headlines because we will be right back after this quick break.